Hey YouTube, this is Alrighty Then, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Rear View Mirror Vehicle Traveling Data Recorder. I purchased it from Amazon. This is what it looks like. This is the model number right here. It's a X Triple O Z Zebra. NXLHH rear view camera and there's the other side I just looked up rear view camera on the internet and that's what I got on Amazon now uh, I already installed it on my truck it was very easy to install it came with a front facing camera a rear facing camera and um, it has a G sensor it's got a you can take pictures with it you can view the data it records voice, it loops the data over so you don't have to be changing your uh, memory card out, and it also has a optional GPS, but I didn't get that. So believe me when I tell you that this thing came well packed. The actual mirror came in, came in this nice, soft plastic uh, cover. It all They all had covers on the surfaces. It, uh, it was very well packed in here with everything you needed. It even has this microfiber cloth for you to wipe it down with. So believe me, it came well, well um, uh, packed. The only thing that it's lacking is if you don't know how to do it, the instructions are a little bit, uh, they, 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 they don't leave a lot. Uh, you have to kind of know how to install something in order to do it. Um, but it's easy either way though. It's not very difficult. Anyway, let's go to the, these are the instruction manual right here. All right, so let's go. This is the camera installed. It goes mounted on your rear view mirror. And that's the lens right there, looking out. So let's go inside the car. As far as a rear view mirror goes, it kind of sucks. It's not as clear as a regular mirror would be. It's somewhat blue and dark. So I'm thinking at night, it might not be the best rear view mirror, but it's okay. Um, because the plugs are on top, it's a little bit hard for me to adjust my mirror properly. So I think I'm going to have to slide it over a little bit more and then I'll be able to clear this thing. So that's not a big deal. I think I could do that where I can just slide the whole thing over. Let me just do that right now. Hold on a second. Let me slide it over. There we go. So not a big deal. I just slid it over some and it's holding on and now I can actually see out of the, the rear. I have a camper top on my truck so it's kind of hard for me to see out of the rear anyway. But anyway, I the plugs go in the top and I ran them along the, the liner, uh, the plug which has the power plug which goes to the uh, cigarette lighter has plenty of length for you to wrap it around the car, go down the column around here under the under the dash and into the plug. So there's plenty of cord for you to do that. The the rear view camera though, I definitely wouldn't be able to install this on my truck, on my big truck. Not on the F350 because it's not long enough. It's just long enough to, I ran it along uh, from the roof, along here, across the headliner, down here, into the bed. Back here I kind of, there's a little plug that you can um, a little one of those little rubber grommets that I was able to snake it through and then I ran it along the bottom of the truck okay and I ended up mounting it right there so I have to adjust it a little bit so it points a little bit back more but that'll that'll be okay but that's it it's a really small little bullet camera so you can install it anywhere um, the mount that came with it it came with this little pedestal but I tried to bend it because I was going to like screw it to the bottom of my handle here. But then that, that kind of broke. So that's not, it, it wasn't the best, uh, the best quality. And then, oops, clear some of the stuff out. So I ran it inside the tailgate and I passed the cable through here. Now I'll go show you the bottom of it. So installation was really quick. I also installed these reverse, these are reverse lights, the same as I have on the F350. And I'll show you the bottom. So 
this is it right here I'm gonna clean this up a little bit but I tapped it into the power to the reverse light and I grounded everything to the truck right there so installation is really easy uh, the black cable goes to ground the red cable goes to your reverse so it's gonna come with a black cable that goes to the ground and the red cable that goes to your reverse that's it and then you plug it in right here this is a, it also plugs into here so this plug here has the video cable and the power for the reverse light positive and the black ground to the chassis now something that's neat about the the camera is that when you turn on the car the camera turns on automatically so here it goes I'm gonna turn on the car all right and there it goes it's got a pretty nice little LED screen right in the middle and that's the front facing camera and this little square right here is a rear if I hit the up button it gives me the rear only and if I hit it again it gives me the front if I put the car in reverse it gives me the rear facing camera and it gives me these little distance meters here I guess uh, once I figure out how to uh, point the camera it'll be okay so when I go back to neutral the car it goes back to the uh, both the dual cameras if I hit up again you've got the front up one more time you have both so it's either one or the other okay um, the if it's if it's recording as it is right now you can't put it you can't switch it into mode so you have to hit the OK button and that'll stop the recording um, during the recording if you hit the down button that mutes your sound and if you hit it again whoops I turned it off it's very sensitive and if you hit it again it turns on the sound now this little icon right here that is your watcher your a parking watcher so if you leave the car parked it'll constantly be recording just in case to catch what's going on this is your memory card it tells you that it's plugged in and you can set the time date and everything else so I'm gonna stop it from recording and I'm oh I hit the power sorry about that it's still recording anyway let me click OK to stop the recording if I hit the mode button very lightly it goes to picture so this is the picture mode where you can take pictures and I think it's about 1.7 uh, mega uh, 1.7 megabyte picture if I click it again it goes to play mode and if I hit OK recording, if you hit the down button, it plays the file okay and if you go up Oh, the file is damaged. All right, so let's see. Let's play this one. Hey, guys, this is all righty then, and this is just for sound purposes only that I'm recording this and to give you a quality uh, video. All right, so that was the, the the video. I downloaded it to my computer. It looks good. It looks good on the screen. It's 1080p resolution, and the sound is, is pretty good. Now, if you long press the mode button, then you get into your uh, menu. And right now, it's asking me to delete this file. So I'm just going to click, go ahead and delete. Go down, click delete, and that deletes the files. Now, if you go to... Let's see, let's go to mode again. All right, so once you're in the regular TV mode, in the regular view mode, if you long press the mode button, that gives you your full menu. So here's the menu. You have resolution. This is how you change the resolution, and right now it's at 1080. Um, the resolution for the camera, as you can see, it's 1.3 megabytes. You can cycle record, so it'll record in one minute increments, two minute increments, and three, or you can turn it off and it'll just continuously record. If we go down again, you can do the uh, date and stamp. You can change the language, the LCD brightness. Let's go down some more. And the next thing is the auto power off. 
auto power off. I guess if it notices that there's no activity, it'll turn off by itself. If we click OK on that, you have you can have it turn off in one minute, two minutes, or three minutes. If we go back to mode, it takes us back to the regular menu. Um, recording, that's for audio recording, the beep sound when you're pressing the buttons. The parking guard is checked. Gravity sensing, you have low, medium, and high. Uh, boot video, I guess that's to show the little screen of the TV when you turn it on. If we keep going down, then you have the white balance, which is auto, the sensometry, <clears throat> which is um, for uh, if you're in a very white if you're in a very white area, like with a lot of snow, you can um, take the aperture down a little bit so that it doesn't get as much light. And if there's too much sun, you can open it. Or if there's not enough, you can open it up. There's the date and time stamp. You can format it, default setting and the version. So the menu is really easy to navigate and very straightforward. So a short press takes you back to the camera. So again, a, a quick little press goes to camera. A quick press goes to play. A quick press goes back to video mode. If you long press the mode button, it will go to the menu button. And if you short press it, it goes back to the regular. If you want to record, you click OK. And now you're recording. Click OK again, and you're stopping. I'm going to long press the mode button. I'm going to go down to format, click OK. I'm going to go down, click OK, and that's going to format the card. Now the card is uh, blank again. Click the mode button shallowly, and then that's it. So all in all, it's a uh, pretty pretty nice little camera. Very it, The installation, again, was very easy because the power goes right into the cigarette lighter. Just leave it plugged in. When you turn off the car, it'll turn off after a couple minutes. Um, you can always turn it off in between, so if you're ever in a situation where you need to turn it off right away, you can. The rear view camera records all the time. Initially, I thought the rear view camera was not going to record only when I put it in reverse, but that's not the case. It records in both, but when you put the car in reverse, it just puts it into the, the big camera on the reverse for you. So it's a little automatic thing that it does to make it more comfortable, that you don't have to be fidgeting with the buttons to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the review. This was alrighty. Then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace, guys, and Happy New Year, by the way.